So today, I've decided to start a new Amazon KDP business from scratch, and I will show you everything, literally everything. You don't know how to design a product that will beat your competitors at don't worry, you'll learn that. Or maybe you have no design skills. Don't panic, I've got you covered. So let's get started. We must first find a niche and a winning product in that niche. So for example, if you choose the cooking niche, a product idea would be a recipe book. If you choose mental health, you can design a gratitude journal. Or if you go with educational books, you can create activity books for kids as an example. However, no matter what niche you choose, it must be selling all year round and have multiple products that bring in consistent passive income. I personally love the activity books niche as it's always trending and has lots of potential. For example, this activity book was published 23 days ago and it's estimated to earn between $500 to $1,000 per day, which is crazy. And if we look here, we can see it's independently published, which means it's a KDP product. And it's not the only one, as there are so many successful books in this niche. But I want you to have realistic expectations and understand that these numbers are not what you should expect when you start. So I could actually go with coloring books like these listings. But as you can see, there are over 70,000 results for coloring books, which makes it very competitive. So I did more research and found this Scissor Skills Activity Book, which is an educational book designed to help kids develop their cutting skills. And if we look for Scissor Skills books, we will notice low competition and high search volume. I also found different products that are doing well in this niche, which is promising. So I actually think this is a great product to go with. Plus, I have some ideas on how we can stand out from other books. But first, let's take a step back and show you how to find and verify a winning niche. I'll show you a paid method and a free method. And after that, we will design our scissor skills book. So starting with the paid option, my favorite tool is BookBeam. And what I usually do here is select the niche finder. Now inside the niche finder, there is this preset menu. And here I like to use the new high selling books filter. Using this will give you a list of newly published books that are selling well. And I recommend adjusting the number of ratings to a maximum of 50 to narrow down the competition even further. So right now you will see the book BSR, monthly sales and royalties, which is how much money it's making. Plus, if you use the Chrome extension and go to Amazon, you will be able to see how much each product is making, which is great for verifying a winning product. So clearly, this tool could save you hours of research. But let's say you'd rather invest your time instead of money and want a free option. So here's what you can do. First, download this free Chrome extension called DS Amazon Quick View. After that, go to Amazon and search for a broad topic related to your interest, for example, coloring books. You need to look at the number of results. Ideally, you want fewer than 1,000 results to indicate lower competition. But right now, we have over 70,000, so what should we do? Well, here's what I would recommend. Scroll through the listings and find sub-niches within your niche. For example, Stress Relief Coloring Book is a sub-niche. Food and Drinks, Food and Snacks, Cosmetics, these are all sub-niches within the Coloring Book's niche. So let's say you like the idea of food and snacks. Simply search for that and check the results like you did before. So as you can see, this time we only have around 700 results, which is below the 1000 we are aiming for. Now this is great, but we must also check if this niche is actually making money. And here's where the Chrome extension comes in handy. Because using the extension, you will be able to see the BSR of the products. And your aim here will be to find at least at least 5 to 10 books with a BSR of 100,000 and below. A lower BSR means higher sales, so books with a BSR below 100,000 indicate good demand. In our case, I found this one with a 400 BSR, another with 68,000, one with 38,000, and a couple more with very good BSRs. So this is definitely a positive sign, and this niche could be a winner worth trying. So it's your choice now. You either invest your money to save time or invest your time to save money.
But right now, let's invest our time designing our product and making it stand out. One thing I've noticed about Scissor Skills books is that most, if not all, are in white and black. So if we create a colored version, we might actually stand out. And one more thing I've noticed by analyzing the negative reviews is the lack of variety, with people complaining about the designs being boring and very simple. And here's where I came up with the following structure. I'm planning to create three different levels. Level one will have simple lines and some graphics to warm up. In level two, we'll make it a bit more challenging by adding different shapes like circles and triangles. And in the final level, we'll add actual graphics that fill up the entire page. And don't worry, I will explain how to create all of these. So I started by heading to Canva and creating a new design measuring 8.5 by 11 inches. If you're not sure about the size of your book, you can open a competitor's listing and check their book size right here. After that, I went to Midjourney and generated the images for level one. And I use prompts such as a minimalistic cute cat icon in kawaii style isolated on a white background. And then I started the actual design process. I first added this shape, stretched it to fit our template and made it transparent. Then I clicked here on border style and added this dashed line border to create this cool looking frame. After that, I uploaded the animal graphics we created and placed them next to each other. And to create the cutting lines, we just need to go to elements, then shapes, and choose this dashed line right here. Then flip it, place it under the graphic, and adjust it to the desired length. And to make it more interesting, I've added this scissor icon and this headline at the top. And just like that, we have the first page ready. I then created the second and third pages. It's pretty much the same process. The only thing changing is the cutting pattern. And it's very important to add blank pages after the cutting page so that when kids cut the design, nothing will be affected on the following page. Now, as for level two, it's also simple. You start by adding a shape like this circle, for example, then change the color and add a dashed border style. And finally, duplicate the shape as much as you like. And now let's move on to the final level, which requires some extra work. You start by generating the images just like before. And here on the side, you can see the prompt formula I've used. And after generating the images, head to this free website called Photo P. We will use Photo P to create the cutting line around the image. Start by uploading your first image, then select the magic wand tool from here. After that, click on the white background and delete it to have your image isolated on its own. And now it's time to create the cutting line. So first, select the magic wand tool again and click anywhere in the background. Then right click on your mouse and select inverse and this will make a selection around the object only. Then right click again on your mouse, hover over modify and select the expand option. I'm going to set that to 30, but this depends on your image. Now you will notice that the selection has expanded around the design. After that, go to the right hand menu and click on paths and choose this option right here at the bottom. And you should notice that the selection turned blue. You are almost done now. From the toolbar, select the pen tool and click on shape at the top. Then, using this menu, click on shape. Make the fill transparent and the stroke black and increase the border width to your liking. Finally, change the border type to dashed lines and just like that, your design should be ready. So now, export the image as a PNG and add it to the other designs on Canva, just as you can see. And repeat the same process for all of the images in your book. After that, I spent some time designing the book cover and managed to create two versions. As you can see, they only include some elements from the book and the book name, nothing special. So at this point, I had my book completely ready and in my opinion, it turned out very good. And if you want to know how to publish your book on Amazon, you can watch this video. Thanks for watching.